Magandang araw mga kagako sa Itachi. So today, another video tayo. And this time, particles pa rin. So since alam na natin na medyo um, challenging no mag-aral ng Japanese particles. Kasi definitely, ang particles may mga sarili-sarili silang usage no um, when it comes to grammatical patterns. So today, mag-dive um, tayo into one particular particle na medyo napakadami niyang gamit. So, particle ni siya. Okay. Bibigyan ko kayo ng tips. So, kung paano nyo um, mawawakaro kung sa sentence nyo particle ni pa siya or hindi. Okay. So, here's the first clue. Una, may mga verbs na fix talaga ang particle ni. Kagaya ni hiremas. Which means to enter. Okay. So, papasok eh. Yung action na papasok, hiremas place ni Hairimas. Okay? So, yun ay particle ni. Okay? Halimbawa, doa ni Hairimas. Um, eto, kay siya ni Hairimas. Eto, kyoshitsu ni Hairimas. So, pag nakita mo yung verb na Hairimas, yan ay particle ni. There. Okay, next. Uh, papasok pa rin tayo, which is get in. Um, this time, sumakay. In Tagalog, norimas. So, normally, um, then siya ni norimas. Ito, funen ni norimas. Hikoki ni norimas. So, lahat ng pwede mong gamitan ng get in or sumakay norimas ni particle yan. Sugi, suwarimas. Okay. Lahat ng place na pwede mong upuan is ni suwarimas. Tatwe ba? Benchi ni suwarimas. Ito, yuka ni suwarimas. Floor. Um, eto tatueba um, tsuchi ni suwarimas mismong lupa ni suwarimas okay? wala ka kasing gagawin dun eh andun ka lang, nakafixated ka lang doon so ni suwarimas is appropriate for, for that next noborimas to climb well kapag may goal ka yan, pwede mong isa-isip yan if you have a goal um, pagpunta doon sa goal, like yung puno aakit ka sa puno, aakit ka sa puno, halimbawa, may goal ka na kunin yung, yung bunga niya, so noborimas yan. So, uh -huh. aakit tayo sa building, biru ni noborimas, kini noborimas, yama ni noborimas. Okay? So, there. And last, tsukimas is arrive. Again, may goal ka na place na pupuntahan. Alright? For example, I arrived at the office, jimusho ni tsukimashita. Um, I arrive at the school. Gako ni Tsukimashita. Yan. Kapag na-recall nyo o na-memorize nyo itong limang verbs na to na sila ay um, dapat na may particle, okay, medyo may laban na kayo sa exam. Okay? So, tandaan natin yung limang verbs na yan. So, fix ang particle sa kanila. Okay. Now, if that's the case, naintindihan na natin ito, minasang, let's have our example. Okay, sampuru ikimasho. Okay, first I will read yomi masho. Koko ni haite wa ikemasen. You must not enter here. Haite, no? haite wa ikemasen. So, koko is the place. E haite is enter, but this time do not, must not enter. So, that's particle ni. <clears throat> koko ni haite wa ikemasen. Sugi. Koko ni suwate mo i desu ka? May I sit here? May I sit here? Okay? So, whatever the conjugation, ang verb mo pa rin ay suwarimas. So, ni pa rin siya. Gets? Next. Kini noborimas. Kini noborimas. Okay? Um, akit sa puno. I will climb the tree. Okay? So, sabi ko kanina, kapag may goal ka, pataas. Okay? So, ni is appropriate particle for noborimas. Okay, some more. We have Kaisha ni Tsukimashita. So, sample ko to kanina. Okay, so Kaisha ni Tsukimashita. I arrived at the company. Ni is the proper particle. Next, Baso ni no te kudasai. Baso ni no te kudasai. Please get in the bus. There you go, Minasan. I hope you learned something about ni particle and those verbs that are um, fixed verbs for this particular particle. Okay, this time, mag-renshu tayo. Okay? So, check natin ang inyong level of comprehension. Number one, watashi wa samuito koro blank sunde imas. 
I live in a I live in a cold place. Watashi wa samui tokoro blank sunde imas. Yes, hindi man ito ah, nakasama sa discussion kanina, but sunde imas is to live. I live in, di ba? I live in a um, samui tokoro. So, nandun ka, nakatira ka doon. So, ni particle. So, sunde imas is another verb for that. Next, erebeta blank asunde wa ikimasen. Erebeta blank asunde wa ikimasen. Okay, so kung napanood nyo yung una nating um, video about particles ni Ende, so this one is particle de. Kasi ang asobimas is an action verb. Ibig sabihin gumagalaw siya. Nagaganap ang action doon sa erebeta. So hindi pwede ang ni. So mas appropriate ang particle de sa kanya. Gets? Number three, sambang, koko blang, suwate wa ikimasen. Yes, particle natin to kanina or sample natin to kanina. So, kokonis, watewa, ikimasen. Yung bang? Kisaten blank, haite mo ides ka. Kisaten blank, haite mo ides ka. Kisaten means um, coffee shop. Haite mo ides ka. May I enter in the coffee shop? Yes, correct. Ni particle yan kasi enter ang ating verb. And last, go. Aso ko blank. Kurumao tomete kudasai. Please park your car there. Okay, so ito ay particle ni Pade. Okay, so wala kasing ano, kung parang ititigil mo lang doon, ipapark mo lang doon yung sasakyan mo, so particle ni siya. Wala siya na doon, ipapark mo lang yun doon, nandun lang siya, fixated lang siya doon. Okay, so minasang, I hope I shed some light on the issues of knee particle and I do hope na uh, you can still watch my, my other videos in my YouTube channel for some enlightenment about grammar, particles, and other parts of Japanese language. Okay, so see you again. Bye-bye minasang, matane.